Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wednesday here on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your host, Eric. This week we are talking about Harm None, Including You. So this week our question comes from Cthulhu Chick 666 Muscatonic University Forever. Some of you are not going to get that reference, and that's okay, because it's not terribly important. Anyhow, she wanted to know basically about how we felt about the Wiccan Reed applying to self-mutilation and hurting oneself, even if it's a depression thing and you're kind of out of control with it. Well, first off, I want to say go back and watch Charlie's video. Um, it's fantastic, and it's you need to watch it. Anyhow, I don't have a lot of personal experience in this, and as you all know, I'm not Wiccan, and therefore do not really adhere to the Wiccan read specifically. However, um, I do feel that as a mantra, harm none, do what you will, is a damn good plan. I, I, I don't see that if I'm harming myself, it's going to do anyone else harm except the people who care about me. And there's the rub, is if you're hurting yourself, you're not only hurting yourself, you're hurting the people who love you because they oftentimes, especially when it comes to cutting and self-mutilation and self-inflicted pain for therapeutic reasons, they don't know how to help you. I mean, there are there are helplines available. Um, I'll do my best to look some up before I post this video and get them in the description bar below. So look for those. But it's one of those things where I understand because I have done some of that in in my past. I was never a cutter. I never wanted to leave scars. However, um, when I first started getting piercings and tattoos, the point of those piercings and tattoos was to, one, adorn my body, so it was one of those things that no one was ever going to talk me out of, but two, it was because when I was in pain, I understood that there is more to life than the emotional trudgery that I had endured up until that point. Um, I can definitely say that it gets better. If, if you're willing to, if you're willing to accept that your life can be better and you work at it, if you can't do it yourself, get help. But it does get better. The, uh, the terrible anxiety that I experienced throughout the course of my teens and twenties, um, was kind of awful for me and that's actually why my ears are gauged as big as they are I know this isn't huge but um, I started out with small piercings you know just small standard you know 18 gauge piercings and then when I was feeling down on myself or if I was feeling just so utterly overwhelmed by everything else I knew that that was one thing that I could have control of was making myself not feel as much of the emotional distress by causing myself physical pain. So, you know, I started out with small earrings and I would just take a larger gauge and shove it through and there would be bleeding and infection and it was terrible. As a matter of fact, my earrings have never held, uh, healed up the way that they should have. So I still occasionally have issues uh, with, with, you know, infection and just them getting sore and tender. That's something that I've come to accept, but it's my own fault, and I don't expect anyone else to really deal with that for me. Um, so sometimes there are repercussions, uh, whether it be scars or continual re-injury or things of that nature. Um, whether or not I find this sinful, um, I I don't want to I don't want to like completely nominalize the word sinful because lots of people think of Christianity when they think of sin and that's not necessarily the case. Uh, I looked it up because I was curious as to whether or not it was straight Christian bent on that word or whether that could apply to everything else and looking looking it up I found that the word sin means any transgression against 
a religion or god. Any god, I would assume. Uh, since it didn't specify, I'm going to go ahead and look at it that way because it is my opinion and I'm allowed. Anyhow, um, even if your god or the gods that you worship don't find self-harm to be a problem, if you're doing it for any of the wrong reasons, I mean, yes, there are rites of passage that definitely hurt, and I can't knock that. I can understand and accept, not that it makes me okay with it, but I can accept if you are, if you are using pain therapy to get through the tough times as long as you know that you are not going to permanently injure yourself, I wouldn't stop you. It was one of the ways that I did it as a teen. I, uh, I, I'm not proud of it, but I'm also not ashamed of it. And I'm not worried what other people feel or think about that. But it still wasn't a good idea. If that's, if that's something you have to do, I understand. But there is help. Anyhow, um, whether or not it's sinful, if you follow the read and you're supposed to be... If you follow the read to what you think is the letter of the law as opposed to the spirit of it, then there's not really a whole lot of wiggle room, and yeah, it kind of is sinful against the against the reed itself. Um, really, that's all I've got on this, other than check in the description bar below for any of the links that I can find on on cutting and self mutilation and and uh, suicide hotline type help. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was a learning experience for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and of course, until next time, Odin be with you.